Hello my scholars and welcome to the My School channel. My name is Angela and in this video we are going to be reviewing the government's jam pass question for the year 2023. Please don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. to the Mexico channel. Today we are going to be reviewing questions 21 to 40. Let's begin with question 21. Which of the following African leaders played a significant role in the formation of NEPAD? A. Julius Nyerere, B. Nelson Mandela, C. Muammar Gaddafi, and D. Robert Mugabe. So the answer to this question is B. Nelson Mandela. He created this organization which is a branch of the African Union in 2001. The reason why this organization was created was to help improve the socioeconomic situation in African countries. So the answer to this question is B, Nelson Mandela. Question 22. Nigeria is a founding member of which regional organization? A, ECOWAS, B, Non-Aligned Movement, C, OPEC, D, IMF. And the answer to this question is ECOWAS. ECOWAS is the economic community of West African states and Nigeria is one of its founding members. It was founded in May 25th, 1975, during the signing of the Treaty of Lagos. So the answer to this question is A, ECOWAS. Question 23. The current constitution of Nigeria is based on the model of which country? A, Germany, B, United States, C, France, D, United Kingdom. So the answer to this question is B, the United States. At first, Nigeria's constitution was modeled after the United Kingdom during our independence in 1960. However, in 1963, Nigeria became a republic and modeled its government after the United States, which practices separation of power. That means the power will be separated between the three arms of government, the legislature, the executive, and judiciary. This is different from the United Kingdom, where the legislature and executive share some responsibilities. So our answer to this question is B, United States. Question 24. The arm of government responsible for budget approval and oversight is the A, Judiciary, B, Executive, C, Administrative, D, Legislative. So the answer to this question is D, Legislative, because one of the duties of the legislative arm of government is the approval of budget. This is also known as the power of the post, and it belongs to the legislature. The executive actually prepares the budget and then hands it over to the legislature for them to approve. So the answer to this question is D, Legislative. Question 25. A key principle of the socialist system of government is the dash. A. Minimal government intervention in the economy. B. Private ownership of the means of production. C. Power concentrated in the hands of a few elite individuals. And D. Equality of opportunity and outcome. First of all, the socialist system of government is a system of government whereby the means of production is owned and controlled by the government. This was a system that was introduced as a result of the criticism of the capitalist system of government, where power and the means of production rest in the hands of a few elite individuals, private individuals. So we are going to look for the key principles of the socialist system from this option. First of all, the socialist system of government is a system of government whereby the means of production is owned and controlled by the government. This is a system of government that was introduced as a result of the criticism of the capitalist system of government, whereby the means of production is owned and controlled by private elite individuals. So we are going to look at each of the options to see which one of them is actually a key principle of the socialist system of government. First of all, we have a minimal government intervention in the economy. In a socialist system of government, the government controls the means of production in the society, and therefore they intervening in the economy of that particular country. So that can be our answer. We have B, private ownership of the means of production. This is actually one of the features of a capitalist system and not a socialist system. In a socialist system, the means of production is owned by the government. We have C, power is concentrated in the hands of a few elite individuals. Again, this particular option is one of the features of a capitalist system. And this is one of the things that the socialist system criticizes against. And so that can be our answer. Lastly, we have quality of opportunity and outcome. This is a key principle of the socialist system because 
in the socialist system. The main reason why the government intervenes in this particular system is to ensure that everyone has equal access to jobs and the industry and to ensure that the wealth in that particular country is not in the hands of a few elite individuals but is distributed among every member of the society. So answer to this question is D, equality of opportunity and outcome. Question 26. In a communist system, who owns and controls the means of production? A, corporations, B, the government, C, private individuals, and D, non-profit organizations. So the answer to this question is B, the government. In a communist system, the government has total control of the means of production in that particular society and individuals are not allowed to own or produce wealth. This is done to ensure that the society is a classless one. That means we don't have first class, middle class and lower class in the society. Everybody has equal opportunity, equal outcome. This is different from the socialist system of government because in a socialist system of government, some individuals are allowed to own and produce wealth in the society, but most of the power is rests in the hands of the government. But in a communist system, no individual is allowed to own and produce wealth in that particular society. So it is important to know the difference between a communist and a socialist system. However, the answer to this question is B, the government. Question 27. The National Assembly is composed of how many chambers? A2, B4, C1, and D3. So the answer to this question is A, 2. And the reason for this is that the Nigerian legislature consists of the upper chamber, which is known as the House of Assembly, and the lower chamber, which is known as the House of Representatives. In the House of Assembly, we have 109 members. This is because we have 36 states in the Federation, and for each state, we have three members representing that particular state. And then the last one is from the Federal Capital Territory. So we have a total of 109 members in the House of Assembly. But in the lower house, which is the House of Representatives, we have 316 members. Each member is gotten from every constituency in the Federation. So that's the reason why we have 360 members in the House of Representatives. So answer to this question is A. Two. Do you know you can take practice questions with assimilated jam CBT pass questions? All you need to do is to click on the link in the description below. This takes you to the MySchool website. There you can download the MySchool mobile app for your Android devices and the MySchool software for your laptops and computers. Please go ahead and start practicing. Now on to question 28. Which of the following was a significant trade commodity in the pre-colonial kingdom of Benin? A, ivory, B, gold, C, rubber, and D, salt. The answer to this question is A, ivory, because ivory carvings was a very common commodity in the Benin Empire, and it was valued and traded by European merchants. So this was the major source of wealth for the Benin kingdom. So the answer to this question is A, ivory. I believe you're enjoying this content. If yes, Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 29. Dash was a major factor that contributed to the rise of the Sokoto Caliphate. A. Agricultural Revolution. B. Slave Trade. C. European Colonization. And D. Islamic Jihad. So answer to this question is D. Islamic Jihad. A jihad is a revolution that is taken in a particular region to help to promote Islam in that region. So the Islamic jihad was led by Usman Danfodio in the 19th century. Usman Danfodio is an Islamic scholar and reformer. He led these military campaigns against the outside empires of that particular period to ensure that the states were ruled based on the dictates of the Quran and the Sunnah. And when he did this, the Aosa empires became a centralized state known as the Shokoto Caliphate. And because of this, they were able to improve trade and the development of that particular region. So the Islamic Jihad is a major factor that contributed to the rise of the Shokoto Caliphate. So our answer to this question is D, Islamic Jihad. Question 30. Which political party was known for its socialist ideology and populist policies in the 1980s? A, People's Redemption Party. B. All Nigeria's People's Party, C. National Party of Nigeria, and D. Nigerian National Democratic Party. So the answer to this question is A. The People's Redemption Party. It was created in 1978 during the Second Republic, and it was created by Mala Amin Okano, who was a social reformer at that particular time. So the reason he created this party was to promote 
socialist ideologies and populist policies in the 1980s. Some of this ideology that he promoted was economic equality, social justice, and the welfare of the common people. So answer to this question is A, People's Redemption Party. Question 31. In a parliamentary system, the head of government is usually the A, Chief Justice, B, King or Queen, C, President, D, Prime Minister. So answer to this question is D, Prime Minister. In the parliamentary system of government, power is separated between the head of state and the head of government. The head of state is usually the monarch or the king or queen, while the head of government is the prime minister and is responsible for administrating the state and attending to day-to-day -day affairs in that particular state. So answer to this question is the prime minister. Question 32. A major event in Nigerian history that led to the suspension of Nigeria's constitution and the declaration of a state of emergency by the colonial authorities in 1953 was the dash. A, about women's riots, B, Zikist movements, C, Kano riots, and D, action group crisis. So answer to this question is C, Kano riots. This took place in May 1953, when in the House of Representatives, a member of the action group, which was a political party that represented the Western region in Nigeria, this particular representative was Chief Anthony Ennahuru, and he moved the motion for self-government in the House of Representatives. But this was countered by another member of the House of Representatives, who belonged to the Northern People's Congress, another political party that represented the Northern region in Nigeria. So he countered this motion because he believed that Nigeria was not ready for self-government. And this led to disagreement in the House of Representatives and the members of the Action Group and members of another political party, the NCNC, National Council of Nigerian Citizens, which represented the eastern part of the country. So members of the AG and the NCNC walked out of the House of Representatives and when the members of the Northern People's Congress stepped into the streets of Lagos, they were booed and jailed by the Lagosians. The Northerners were not happy with this, and so when members of the Action Group visited the Northerners in their region, they felt like it was an invasion of their land, and so they chose to start this riot where so many lives were lost and so many people were injured during the riots. So that was the Kano riot of 1953. So during that period, there was a state of emergency and the Nigeria's constitution was suspended for a while. The reason for this is to ensure that the demands of the Northerners were met before they can step back into the House of Representatives. So answer to this question is C, Kano Riot of 1953, because it is what led to the suspension of Nigeria's constitution and the declaration of the state of emergency. Answer is C. Question 33. Which of the following countries operate a direct democracy? A, Russia, B, United Kingdom, C, United States of America, and D, Switzerland. First of all, a direct democracy is a system of democracy whereby citizens are allowed to vote on every issue that affects them. This is different from a representative democracy where citizens are only allowed to elect representatives who vote for or represent their interests when they get to that position of office. So. The answer to this question is D, Switzerland, because Switzerland operates a direct democracy and citizens of the country are allowed to vote on every issue that affects them. This is different from Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America, where they practice representative democracy and they are allowed to elect representatives who would vote for their interests when they get to their offices. So the answer to this question is D, Switzerland. Question 34. Which of the following is the basic units of a local government in Nigeria? A. State Assembly, B. Ward, C. Local Council Development Area, and D. Ministry of Local Government. So answer to this question is B. Ward, because Ward is a basic unit of the local government in Nigeria. It is usually headed by a councillor who helps to represent the interests of the residents of that particular local government area. So answer to this question is B. Ward. Question 35. The civil service in Nigeria operates under the principle of A, autonomy, B, separation of powers, C, none of the above, D, meritocracy. So answer to this question is D, meritocracy, because members of the civil service in Nigeria is appointed into office based on merit, based on their qualification and experience. So answer to this question is D, meritocracy. Question 36. The Commonwealth of Nations was initially known as A, British Commonwealth, B, Imperial Commonwealth, C, Commonwealth Realm, 
and the League of Nations. So answer to this question is a British Commonwealth because the Commonwealth of Nations was originally made up of countries that were colonized by the British people. They were former territories of the British Empire. And so they were initially named the British Commonwealth. However, after they were granted their independence, they changed their name to Commonwealth of Nations. So answer to this question is A, British Commonwealth. Do you have any question? Please feel free to ask a question by clicking the link in the description below. This takes you to the My School website. There you can ask a question and solution will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now on to question 37. Nigeria shares its longest border with which West African country? A. Niger B. Chad C. Ghana D. Benin So the answer to this question is A. Niger Actually, Nigeria shares its border with Niger, Chad and Benin. Niger shares its longest border up in the northern part of Nigeria, while Chad shares its border with the northeastern part of Nigeria and is very short, shorter than the Nigerian border. And Benin shares its border with western Nigeria, but it is not as long as the Nigerian border. Ghana does not share a border with Nigeria at all. So our answer to this question is A, Niger. Do you have a better explanation or solution to any of this question? Please feel free to share this information by going down to the comment section below, indicating the question and solution you would like to share. Question 38. The electoral system used in Nigeria is primarily based on DASH. A. Mixed member proportional. B. Preferential voting. C. First past the post. And D. Proportional representation. So the answer to this question is C. First past the post. This is a system that is used by the Nigerian electoral system. So it involves electing the leader who has the most votes in a particular election. This is different from proportional representation, whereby each political party who participates in an election is given a certain number of seats based on the number of voters that vote for that particular party. So our answer to this question is C. First past the post. Question 39. The process of selecting candidates to represent a political party in elections is known as A, campaigning, B, primaries, C, electioneering, and D, lobbying. So the answer to this question is B, primaries. The primary election is conducted within a political party to help elect the candidates who represent that particular political party in the main election. So our answer to this question is B, primaries. Question 40. Which Nigerian leader advocated for the new Partnership for Africa's Development, NEPAD? A. Olusegun Obasanjo, B. Yakubu Gowon, C. Muhammadu Buhari, and D. Shou Shagari. The answer to this question is A. Olusegun Obasanjo. It was a Nigerian leader that advocated for the new Partnership for Africa's Development, which is a branch of the African Union. So he did this during his regime as Nigerian president between 1997 and 2007. So the answer to this question is A, Olusegun Obasanjo. I believe you're enjoying this content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the notification bell to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.